A group of students at the University of Nairobi can be seen busy interacting at one of the many sessions they have at least once a week to discuss matters of innovation. <laughs> And today's session is a bit different. A group of experts in innovation from Oxford University are visiting to take part in a hackathon. Participating in such an event, for many of them it's a first, so they are learning about how innovation happens in practice. Secondly, their ideas can be taken forward as part of a broader research such that the idea can be developed further and they can be involved in the development in case the idea is picked up. Part of the debate revolves around tackling the growing concern among young people and the challenges they face when it comes to interventions and entrepreneurship. Challenges that most youths face is like in terms of lack of inadequate information and uh, resistance to change. Technology is changing as time goes by and you're, you're facing a risk and a challenge to, uh, to introduce a new thing. Like for example, if you're implementing an ERP in a business, it becomes costly and you don't know the outcome later. One of the greatest challenges is financing, of course. Like, you know, for all startups, there's that point in time where you get, you need to get um, funds for, to, to carry your idea forward. Dr. Axel Iraki, a lecturer at the School of Business, tells me that the amount of revenue and jobs that can be reaped from innovations is huge. Iraqi believes that the solution lies in having a strong intellectual property regime. Can we put as much effort in protecting intellectual property as we are putting in protecting the marriage. So that if you have a good idea and somebody steals it from you, you can take him to court and you can be compensated for that. One of the areas that majority of the young innovators are banking on is development of mobile phone applications, which is an area expert says holds enormous potential. If we want to solve our, our unemployment problem, let's emphasize on innovation. Because it is new ideas that help us create new companies. And it is new companies that employ people. Though interest in ICT-related inventions continue to gather steam, a lot more needs to be done in as far as placing safeguards for innovations. Abiyagina, NTV Business.